All right, going to try to do uh, parks on the air activation uh, using the uh, AH705 coupled with my IC705. Uh, first time using that tuner, I just got a hold of it. And so uh, let's see how it goes. So I'm not able to uh, speak here at the beginning. I was surrounded by other little picnickers and I didn't want to kind of mess them up. And so I've got my IC705 laying here on the table. You can see in the background, that is the AH705 hanging suspended from the tree. I have my pack ten of nine to one up there right above it, maybe about uh, 12 feet or so above the tuner, which is kind of swinging there in the wind. And then I have the control cable and a coax going to the side of the 705. I'm initially starting out on 20 meters uh, uh, listening to a park to park, I'm going to try to contact them, but it's not going to work. I think the band was uh, exceptionally bad right at this point. Okay, good afternoon to you. Apologies for the problems. The conditions are very, very noisy now. The name is Justin. My name is Justin. I'm located in Pescara. Pescara in the middle part of Italy, on the Adriatic. Kilo Zero, Foxtrot, Yankee Romeo. I've got Kilo Zero and I've got a Yankee Romeo. Can you complete the call? Foxtrot, Yankee Romeo. Foxtrot, Yankee Romeo. Roger, Roger. I've got Foxtrot, Yankee Romeo. I've got you. I've got you. <clears throat> Maybe about a four by two. Four by two. QSL. On the air. CQ parks on the air. And 9 FAL, Norway 9, Fox A below at Kilo 2246. Park to park. I hear a very, very faint park to park. Over. I copy Fox Try Yankee Romeo. Thank you. And could you just give me the four numbers, please? Four numbers only for your park. Over. Zero nine two five. Zero nine two five. I'm sorry, Whiskey 8, go ahead again.
Yeah, QSL, the uh, San Francisco, I'm only running 5 watts, and I think my antenna might be 8 feet off the ground. Well, whatever you're doing, you're doing, the, you're doing it right. Uh, maybe if you stick your finger up in the air, you'll get even further out, over. <laughs> yeah, roger, roger. Hey, thanks for the contact. Uh, this is Park Kilo 0925. Roger, Kilo 9 Alpha, Bravo Romeo. I got a lot of QSB on your signal. You're about 3 and 3, 3 3 into Illinois, India Lima. 3564. Santa Susana Pass, State Historical Park, CQ Coda. Park to Park. Park to Park Station, go ahead. Kilo 0, Foxtrot Yankee Romeo. Kilo 0, Foxtrot Yankee Romeo. I'm waiting some time to help. I've got you, I've got you at a 5-5, five, 5-5, five, 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 and to Kilo, 3-5-6-4, over. Kilo 3, Sierra Delta Mike here, and Kilo 2-2-5-3, two, two, and Kilo 4-5-7-2, in Indiana, calling CQ Parks on the air and standing by. Park to park, park to park. Kilo 0, Foxtrot, Yankee, Romeo. Roger, 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 roger. All right, hey everybody, Ham Solo here, Kilo Zero, Foxtrot, Yankee, Romeo. So I am doing a uh, little test. I have uh, picked up, finally, uh, ICOM Tuner, the AH705, and coupled it with my IC705 for the first time to try to see how it would work. And so set up here in the uh, fluorescent fossil beds this is uh, one of the podocytes kilo 0925 been here several times doing testing and uh you know set up uh, first my pack tenna so i had the pack tenna mini nine to one uh random wire and i set that up and i got you know kind of intermittent contacts i think the band is is having some difficulties today it's just starting to kind of pick up more but this is already uh in the afternoon and so it was a little bit rough with the uh, with the pack tenna i think i got one uh one contact and i believe he was in georgia uh when i got that contact he was at a park in georgia and so i was able to pick him up with the pack tenna using the new ah705 tuner and uh didn't seem to be an issue at that point uh, but then after that, the band just kind of fell apart. And so um, I ended up switching over to uh, to the KM4ACK uh, InFed Half Wave. I ha haven't used that antenna in a good amount of time. I mean, at least over a year. And so pulled that out and uh, strung it up. And uh, I think the intent was... Uh, I was going to see if I could tune around on, on the bands with it. Um, I didn't really see anybody uh, per se on 17 meters. Uh, there was a lot of DX going on, but I'm only doing 5 watts, so I wasn't going to hit any of those DX guys, uh, you know, like that. And so I basically just started hunting around on uh, 20 meters and then, uh, you know, stopped on a frequency or two to activate myself. But, uh, I, you know, I couldn't stay longer than maybe two or three contacts on any one of the uh, given frequencies because then somebody would jump next door with a super high power transmitter and block me out and so i've been bouncing around bouncing around and uh i finally uh, uh ended up getting uh my contacts so i got 10 contacts total 
Uh, one of them was in a double park, so it counts it as 11 on the log. Uh, but I got activated uh, using the uh, IC705 on 5 watts and then coupling it with the AH705 tuner and the KM4 ACK uh, infed half wave. And so uh, let me uh, take some, uh, some pictures and kind of show you what the setup is. And uh, we'll kind of go from there and I'll show you uh, how I got out as far as, uh, you know, uh, contacts. All right, with my uh, KM4 ACK, you can see right here, I mean, the antenna isn't much higher than the top of my head. So maybe, maybe seven feet uh, off of the ground. Here is the uh, connection point. It's running seven feet off the ground and it pretty much runs that whole way all the way up to another tree back over here. It's about 67 feet long if I remember. And so, yeah, it's running about the same height all the way across, seven feet uh, off the ground. And then again, I have my, where I'm connecting to my BNC. And then right down here is gonna be that AH705. Let's see, turn the camera around. All right, so give you a little indication of the size of this. Here is my shoe. I wear a nine. Been bitten by a lot of bugs there. Uh, it takes AA batteries in the back. That's how I have it powered right now. I've made a little uh, ground cord that's going to a tent stake. And then this is the uh, antenna wire coming down into the unit, the control wire, and the coax running over here to the IC705. And that was pretty much the entire setup. I did initially start out with my uh, pack tenna, so just kind of show you where I was. Here's where I put the infed. The pack tenna was on that branch right there. This, if I can get my hand and make it act right. This branch right here, that's about, I'd say 20 feet off the ground. And so my pack tenna was up in there and I had it sloping the 29 feet down to this tree right here by the path, that tree right there. And uh, didn't seem to have very good, uh, very good signal, but the band seems like it's been really rough. So see if we can get this on any other of the uh, frequencies. I think this one can do uh, 10, 15, 20 and 40. Let's see if we can get any of those. All right, so the way that the uh, the way the bands are acting, and I don't see anybody out there on the spottings uh, for uh, 15 meters or 10 right now, and so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and just pack it in. Uh, but this was uh, my first uh, venture into using the AH705. It's a much smaller uh, unit. Let me go pick it up. All right, sorry about that. So, uh, looks like the rain's building. I'm going to have to pack up here in a, in a second. But basically, this is the whole of the unit. So, this is the AH705 batteries. It's two double A's going right there. You have the control plug for the going to the tuner on the IC705. There's also, you can DC power in. This is going to the radio. This is coming from the antenna. So, the antenna to here. And then the ground, and I made mine, uh, oh, in the neighborhood of maybe 6 to 10 feet. I don't even remember. Uh, but uh, they were trying to say keep the ground kind of short. And so I, I don't think it's over 6 feet, actually, uh, if it's even that tall. And then uh, I have that going to a tent stake. And so, But that is the, uh, the AH705. And if you want a comparison with the size of the uh, radio... Let me unplug all of these. Alright. So, here is my IC705. And I have it in a wind camp cage. It goes all, the cage goes all the way around it. Anyway. And then here is the AH705. So, just a little bit shorter than the face of the radio. About the same width as the as the back side, maybe just a little bit bigger on this. But as far as the uh, thickness and everything, it's not super thick. It doesn't attach uh, to the 705. 
uh, but this is about the size of the uh, of the tuner and again that's uh, smaller than what I've been using and so to put this in my case that I fly with uh, it makes more sense uh, to use that instead of the, the bigger tuner that I've been using now a lot of my more recent activations have all been on my uh, resonant dipole and uh, you know, I don't have an issue with that, but if I do get into a situation where I've got to use my pack antenna or uh, some other uh, antenna to get try to get multiple bands, um, I'd like to have a a more robust tuner, and this one's supposed to work pretty flawlessly with the IC705, which it did. Uh, so once I connected the control cable, all I had to do was press uh, the tune button on the radio, and it automatically would tune it. And I jumped around from 40 meters. Uh, we were hearing DX stations. Uh, I heard DX stations on 17 meters with the pack antenna. I heard DX stations on uh, uh, 15 meters. So I was listening to Slovakia, uh, Italy. Uh, no problem uh, hearing any of them, but I just couldn't uh, get out with the five watts to them. And so uh, definitely has a good uh, uh, tune reception, um, but. Uh, more of a I guess a, the idea would be a match you know but uh, it seems to work very well uh, brought uh, in those frequencies right to SWR one to one and so didn't have any issues with those and so I'm pretty pretty happy with it uh, I'm sure there'll be more to follow uh, I am going to be doing uh, activations in Maine New Hampshire and New Jersey in the next uh, few weeks uh, within probably two weeks from now or two and a half weeks from now I should be doing activations in all three of those states uh, for summits and parks on the air and so I'm going to be taking this tuner along with those antennas and my resonant dipole and uh, be trying to knock those out so until then this is Ham Solo K0FYR 73 all right, so like anything, uh, taking it down, I ended up running into an issue. So as I pulled on the antenna to let go of the, how I had it tied around the tree, apparently the wire came out of this part. And so even though it's got strain relief, whatever I pulled on, the wire came out. And so I'm going to have to go look at the, the instructions to see where I, where I pulled the wire out from. And so right now that antenna is going to be out of service until I get that wire soldered back in or clamped back in or whatever mechanism I had it attached with. So, you know, one of those things. So anyway.